As darkness descends, we get our spotlight out and search for the creatures of the night. When we're driving around at night, unfortunately, our eyes do not have the ability to be able to see. And so what we need is our trusty spotlight in order to be able to pick up all the eyes in the middle of the night. And so how we do this is basically what you want to do is you want to turn your spotlight on and just move it around in a fluid motion and scan both the sort of undergrowth as well as any of the trees. Because at the end of the day, creatures of the night lurk not only in the grass, but in the trees as well. While all of the mammals are out during the night and are trying to find a way to stay safe and bed down, there are specialized animals that do come out. The easiest of which are probably those of the antelope species. You find them on many of the open areas, but the harder ones and the ones that we really are seeking are things like the white-tailed mongoose, the civet, the genets. Every now and then you just get a little glimpse as the night descends. We're very fortunate in that we don't only see mammals out here, we do get some of the more slithery, scaly reptiles that come out at night. Now the easiest of which to find, funny enough, is the chameleons because they tend to glow and really be quite bright against their background in the darkness of night. The hardest ones to find are generally the snakes as they slither through the long grass, but if you're lucky, you might just find one that crosses the road. Bugs are really a big part of the nighttime activities and you'll find yourself driving around with all kinds of different insects assaulting you as you wave your spotlight about. The easiest of which to find will be the dung beetles in the summer months and the chafers. The more difficult insects to find are those called the scorpions. Now the scorpions generally are hidden by bark and only the best with the spotlight are able to find them in the darkness. The spotlight is our most important tool to be able to find animals in the dark, but when we do find them, the infrared light gives us a window into the world without any disturbance whatsoever. While many creatures move under the cover of darkness, my absolute favorite animal is the leopard, and at night, they come into their own. The night time is one of my favorite times to be out in the field. You never know what creatures are coming out, and those that are shy and reclusive in the cover of darkness. Are you wild about the wild? Subscribe to Safari Live and experience the wonders of the wilderness. And if you click on the bell below, we'll notify you every time a safari goes live.